In today's video, the aim is, I want to say the quiet part out loud about the workplace. And when I say about the workplace, I'm not talking about one specific place. I'm talking about just the workplace in general. Because a lot of you guys are going through problems and you don't understand or understand why you're suffering through these problems. And the thing about the workplace that I've recognized is you're never going to be fully um, avoidant of any BS. There's always going to be some, some kind of uh, BS going on at a job. It's just levels to it. Some of it is tolerable, some of it is intolerable. And if you're in a toxic work environment, you need to get out ASAP. So before we get into this, because I need to break down a disclaimer before we get into the crux of the video, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, like the video. If you guys wanna support the channel, hit the super thanks, hit the cash app, PayPal, all the ways you can do that are in the description below. I appreciate you guys watching these videos day in and day out. Here's the disclaimer, because I've seen people online talking about they're tired of work and, and you know, these companies are just, you know, not paying us enough in wages. And some of you guys have legitimate gripes. But the thing you have to realize is, okay, yeah, working is hard, but what else are you going to do? You have to be a mature adult to put the uh, food on the table, put clothes on your back, have a roof over your head. So you're going to need to work despite how you feel or despite how the situation might be. So instead of avoiding work, how about we just break down and understand how the workplace is so we know how to maneuver instead of just saying that we there's no guys there's no happy there's no hundred percent happy job all of the time you see these nfl players do you think they like getting hit every game do you think they like playing through injuries so even though they get paid millions and millions of dollars they still have their bad days too so that's that what you need to understand about the workplace and what some well, just my personal experiences about the workplace and i'm going to say some things out loud that nobody else is willing to say it's not going to be in a controversial it's going to be a very uh respectable way but we need to go into it because a lot of you guys are in the dark about it Here are some things that I've noticed. People always bring their problems to work. There's always that one coworker or coworkers that is always going through something and they need to, they need to just emotionally dump your trauma, their trauma onto somebody. You know, as, as soon as you ask them how their weekend was, as soon as you ask them how their day was, you just invited yourself into a 10 minute conversation that you just didn't want. The most saddest conversation, depressing conversation you've ever heard. Nothing positive. And so you're trying to figure out in the conversation how to avoid it, but <laughs> you ultimately spend that time wasting it, listening to them people. Now, this displays itself in other ways, too, because some people, sometimes people are going through stuff at home and in their personal life, and they take it to work in the, in the feeling and in the action of anger. You know, as soon as you do one little thing wrong, they're willing to jump down your throat. And you're like, whoa, like, Jim, you, you actually you normally don't act this irrational, but today you're acting irrational. What, what is going on? It's because that wife, that girlfriend, that inconvenience that they had with the car or with the house, with maintenance going on at the house, uh, 
they bring that anger to work. So whenever they you do something, one little thing wrong, they're just emo all emotional and stuff. And so I remember one time I went to this one place recently and um, I was looking for a pickup and you know, I was like, hey, you know, you guys have a manual jack. I can make it easy for you guys. You just put the pallet on the forklift and I can move it around the truck. And the dude just like, you know, we don't have a manual pallet jack. And I'm looking right at one. And he's like, you know, what is that over there? And he just he just kept being, getting mad. He was mad before I got there. And he was mad after I left. Why? Because he brought his personal life to work. Or he's working a shitty job. And he feels like he can't move from that job, which is a delusional space. Here's the next thing I've noticed about working at the workplace. Someone is always gossiping. I often think to myself when I hear gossip around other coworkers, I'm like, does anybody really truly like anybody? You know, everybody's talking about somebody. And you guys are wondering why people turn their nose up at you and you didn't say anything bad to them or you hadn't done anything wrong to them. It's because somebody put out a rumor about you that's probably untrue. But, you know, how rumors go, the rumor, by the time it gets to the third person, it's like the most made up, illogical BS ever known to man. So, you know, you go into a room and you got people looking at you sideways and stuff and you're like, what the hell did I do to you? Or what, what the hell did I do? It's because they're gossiping. And if you're smart, when you go to work, you don't say shit. Hi, Jim, how you doing? Hey, Bill, how you doing? Hey, Maria, how you doing? Had a good weekend, that's good, okay, good. And then just keep everything work-related because if you say too much, that's how the rumor mill gets. And it's always funny because they put you through these trainings whenever you first get a job on how to stop being or stop the rumor mill from going, but they never seem to stop it. You know, a video isn't going to stop people from gossiping because gossiping is, is a social interaction. Human beings are social animals and creatures. So it's like gossiping is, is, is inevitable, unfortunately. And plus, once you mess up, Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, if you mess up, you, my friend, people will never forget when you mess up. So don't mess up too often. It's like people get pleasure out of talking bad about other people. It's the most sickening thing about the human existence known to man. I hate to give this one to you guys because it's a harsh one, but we got to talk about it. Everything at work is transactional. Everything at work is, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Since I see a, a foresee a foreseeable benefit with hanging with you, or you know doing what you're telling me to do, since there's a benefit to being attached to you and doing that task, I'm gonna do it. Not because I respect you, but because I know if I can get a benefit from my own selfishness to boost myself in the company. So there's always, this is what makes certain corporate settings so cutthroat is because it's all transactional. They're doing it only for a benefit. You know, I try to talk to people, even my, is, this can even be like uh, supervisors or whatever, managers and whatever. And you try to be authentic. You try to be like, you know, asking about their family and all this stuff. And they just use that closeness to get you to do something else, to bring your guard down so you're less likely to say no to a BS task. See, once you just keep it, you keep it short, the, you evade that BS, unfortunately. So everyone is full of it at work. Everything is transactional. If there's not a benefit to it, they're not gonna they're not gonna do anything good for you. 
And if they know that, and some people even recognize the game, so they know you're doing this for a benefit. So, but they'll still keep you down. They know you want a promotion, but they'll still, they still won't hire you for one. So this is the game people play at the workplace. Also, lastly, there's always a game being run. There's always a hidden agenda. This is why you have to pay attention to the, to the money. Are you guys, you know, are you gaining new customers? Are you guys, what's the economy doing? Because these are going to be a telltale signs because they're never going to tell you in the company ever. Finding good leadership in a company is very rare where everybody likes everybody. The company culture is good. Everybody's telling the truth, communicating at every level to get it to be a well-functioning business. I mean, those businesses are very rare. And in my experiences, the, the job that you actually like working, the job that you actually like being on, you get laid off from, right? I mean, it's, it's, it's the craziest shit ever. It's, it's interesting how the rhythm of life goes, how certain things in life go. So it's always a hidden agenda. You know, when a company buys your company, that doesn't mean that they're merging and trying to make it just as successful and gain the revenue. They, they might try to buy that company to stop competition and run it intentionally into the ground. There's always, things are never as good as they seem to be. And that really sounds nihilistic. And I'm not telling you guys not to have hope or not to be positive. But there's always, I'll, I'll just, it's just what the saying is. Things are never as good as they always seem. What go, comes up must come down. If you're sad now, you got to be happy eventually. If you're happy now, you're going to be sad eventually. It's just, it's, it's just how life is. And... You're going to be, someone's always lying and being fake. I mean, you can't be authentic at the job. And I'm not saying that you should be authentic because you're going to get punished for it. You're going to get fired for it. So be fake um, or, you know, be tactful in the way you communicate. Um, but that, that, you know, we always, we, we already knew that. There might be a game being run that's unrealistic. They're just keeping you on the hamster wheel. It seems like they're trying to uh, run you into the ground. And a job will run you into the ground if you don't stand your ground. That's why if the job... It's a difference between complaining and something that's unrealistic and trying to uh, undercut you. There's a thin line between the two, but there's nothing wrong with voicing your concerns. And so, and plus if, if your concerns aren't being met, sometimes the game is just unrealistic. Sometimes in sales, they know you can't. People know how hard sales is. So, you know, they always try to make, you know, you gotta be a quota and have a quota and you just never seem to hit that quota. It's because it's an unrealistic game. But they could be lying. Maybe the quota isn't 200. Maybe the quota is actually 120. But they'll never tell you that. So, yeah. I think I've gone long enough in this video. Hopefully, you guys got some insights. Hopefully, you guys can relate to this at some level. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Should it be like the video on your way out. And I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.